Now guys, listen carefully, because in this video, I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Game Hub Emulator 5.1.0 and make your games run ultra smooth. Yes, this isn't about any update or fake setting. This is a real working trick that I personally tested, and it literally turned my gameplay from 15 FPS to a stable 60 FPS. No lag, no frame drop, and no overheating. Whether you're using a Snapdragon device, a Mali GPU, or even a mid-range phone, this trick works perfectly on all. Most people think you need a powerful phone for smooth gameplay, but that's not true. It's all about using the right configuration and a few smart tweaks that unlock the emulator's hidden performance. And once you do this, trust me, your games will feel completely different. The speed, the response time, the overall smoothness, everything just gets better. I'll show you step by step exactly how to apply this FPS boost trick, and you'll see the difference right in front of your eyes. So stay tuned, because by the end of this video, your Game Hub 5.1.0 will be running like a full gaming PC. Let's get that 15 FPS to 60 FPS jump right now. But guys, first let's check the FPS difference. On top, you can see the game was running around 10 to 20 FPS with stutter. And now, after applying the settings, it's 40 to 60 FPS stable. The difference is clear, smooth, fast, and super responsive. So watch this video till the end if you want the same performance. Nick, what the hell? You shot the pilot. Well, he wasn't doing a very good job once he became a zombie, now was he? That's true. If I had to pick a low point in the flight, it So guys, let's get started. First, install the Game Hub emulator and sign in with your Google account. After that, Go to the My Tab section and add the game you want to boost FPS for. Now click on the three dots and open PC Game Settings. Here's the most important part, the best resolution for Android devices is 960 x 544. This one gives you the perfect balance of quality and performance, and makes every game run smoother and more optimized. If you have a very low-end device, you can go with 800 x 600, but remember, the screen will look a bit smaller. After that, under General Settings, don't change anything, just leave it as it is. After that, go to the compatibility option and make sure to select the latest Proton 10.0 layer. Now guys, this is the most important part, the main trick of this video. Inside translation params, you'll find a new option called Extreme Mode. This one literally makes any PC game run buttery smooth inside Game Hub 5.1.0. But listen carefully, this option might not work with every single game. In some rare cases, it can even cause the game to crash. Still, in most of the titles I tested, it literally doubled the FPS performance. All you need to do is tap on Extreme Mode, and then enable the Multi-Thread option right below it. This pushes your device to use its full power for maximum performance. If it crashes for any game, don't worry, you can switch that game back to game preset mode. But guys, for heavy AAA titles like GTA 4, GTA 5 Lite, and Red Dead Redemption 2, this extreme mode works perfectly, and the results are insane. So make sure to try it, you'll feel the FPS boost instantly. Now guys, just below that, if your device is Mali or MediaTek, make sure your GPU driver is set to system driver. This also applies to Snapdragon 8 Elite or unsupported CPUs like the 8th Gen 4 series, because their official turnip driver isn't released yet. But if your phone uses Snapdragon main lineups like 695, 778G, 855, all the way up to 8 Gen 3, then always use the latest turnip driver for best results. Next you'll see the DXVK version option. This converts DirectX 9, 10, and 11 into Vulkan API for smoother rendering. You can choose it based on your game and device, but most games run best on 2.4.1 or 2.3.1 async, giving higher FPS and less stutter. If you want the latest version, you can try 2.7.1.1 async. But remember, for Mali or MediaTek users, DXVK 1.10.3, Mali Fix, works the best. Try switching between them to see which gives you smoother FPS. And just below that, you'll find VKD3D. This is for DirectX 12 based games like God of War 2018 or Red Dead Redemption 2. For these, select VKD3D Proton 2.14.1 or the latest version available. And that's it. Guys, congratulations. Now your game is going to run crazy fast. Literally like a beast unleashed. With these settings, you can play almost any PC game smoothly inside Game Hub 5.1.0. And that's how you unlock the full power of the Game Hub Emulator 5.1.0. From low FPS and laggy gameplay, to smooth and stable performance, just like a real gaming PC. And guys, this is the most important part. When you launch any game for the first time inside Game Hub Emulator, it starts compiling shaders. That means the game is loading all its areas and saving cache files inside your device. So the more areas you explore, the more cache gets stored. And here's the cool part. The next time you open that same game, 
it will load directly from that saved cache, giving you even better performance and higher FPS than before. So don't worry if your first run feels a bit slow. It's just your game preparing itself for smoother gameplay next time. If you found this trick helpful, make sure to drop a like and share it with your gamer friends, because they also deserve to experience this kind of performance. And guys, don't forget to subscribe for more hidden settings, emulator tweaks, and gaming optimization guides just like this. So go ahead, apply these settings, and enjoy your games faster than ever before. This is Kish, signing off. See you in the next one, gamers.